Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. A simple question today that leads us into the book of Proverbs. And here's the question. Do I really trust God? Do I really trust God? And I think the passage I'm going to read, it's not going to be the kind of trust you're thinking of. But the question is, do I really trust God? Listen to this question as you ponder that. Uh, as you ponder that. Listen, listen to this passage from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 22. Do not say, I will pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord and he will avenge you. So here's the question. Do I really trust God? And now, do I really trust God? Think about it again. Do not say, I'll pay you back for this. I'm going to pay you back for the wrong you did to me. But instead, wait for the Lord and he will avenge you. Here's one sign that you really trust in God. That you don't retaliate quickly. That you don't have to get back to everyone for what they do to you. That you actually believe that God is just and righteous and powerful. And if someone's going to deal with that problem, if someone's going to deal with that injustice, and you let God do it, guess what? God's going to do a better job than you. God will be more gracious if grace is needed. And God will be maybe more vengeful than you might be. You say, well, wait, I don't know if I want that. Well, it's, the point is, trust God. Because he's the one who will avenge you. He's watching out for you. Someone gossips about you. Let's get practical. Someone gossips about you. What does that mean? It means you got a free pass to go back at them. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you, you don't say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. But you wait for the Lord and let him straighten it out. Let him deal with it. Maybe it's a situation where someone cuts you off in traffic. And then they give you a hand gesture and they cut you off. How do you respond? Well, obviously you retaliate. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe you say, I'm not going to declare I'll pay you back for this wrong. I'll wait for the Lord and he will avenge you, right? Someone a business in a business transaction, a friend betrays you. What's the response? We tend to feel like we've got now a green, even as Christians, a green light to kind of get them back. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you should not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. But maybe we should wait for the Lord and know that he will avenge us. So you say, well, have I ever been wrong? Absolutely. And you will be again, part of life. The passage is clear. We'll all be wronged. The question is, will I retaliate? Will I pay them back for this? Some of you listening, your knee-jerk response is not only to pay back, but you pay back with force. You, you, you bring it back with interest, man. You bring it on. And some of you are like, I don't think I tend to retaliate. But check your heart. You may not retaliate viciously or violently, but you may retaliate by silence, by cutting someone out of your life. You may have a different way of retaliating that doesn't seem as hostile, but can be just as painful for other people. But the key here is to wait on God to trust Him. And to know that God is holy and perfect and just. And God will restore things. Maybe immediately, maybe weeks or months or years down the road, or maybe in eternity. But if retribution needs to come, if vengeance needs to come, entrust that to God and show God that you trust Him. So who has wronged you? Who has hurt you? Who has sinned against you? What's your response? Trust in God and leave it in His hands or react and respond? Last thing, I am not saying it's never wrong to deal with the pain of life and the things that people bring against you. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not saying that you can't respond. Somebody, somebody vandalizes your car in your neighborhood, and you have it on you have it on your uh, ring door thing you picked up. It was the kid next door. You think, well, God doesn't want me to do anything about it. No, that kid needs to be talked to. The parents need to be talked to. Authorities might need to be brought in. There's, there, that's not vengeance. That's responsibility. But be careful when your gut response is, "I'm bringing it back on you, and harder than you gave it to me." But at that moment, say, God, do I really trust you? Do I believe that you will bring justice? And so, God, this is our prayer, that we would learn to trust you, that we would learn that you're on the throne. God, I know my response is often to respond in like kind to how someone's behaved. But God, so often what you're calling me to do, what you're calling us to do, is to wait on you, to trust in you. Lord, let us have that wisdom to know when we should deal with something because it's the right thing to do or when we're just reacting out of our own frustration and anger. Give us wisdom to respond the right way for your glory, for our good, and for the good of others, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thank you for hearing these words of wisdom. I hope they touch your life, and we will see you next time. God bless you, and have a great day.